today's topic is going to be multiplying fractions. Very easy, very easy. I'm going to explain this so you can get it, all right? Multiplying fractions, number since 1.0, 1.5 for all the administrators around. Anyways, the first step in multiplying fractions is multiply straight across, that easy. And then reduce, simplify if possible. Let's take a look at our first example, 2 thirds times 4 sixths. Remember, multiply across, that's all you do, that's all you do. Okay, so I just kind of make a little arrow to myself in my head, an arrow on the top on the numerator and the denominator, and I say 2 times 4 is? 8. 8. On the top, 3 times 6 is? 18. 18. Now i got to think of a number that goes into both. A number that they have in common would be? 2. 2. All right. Let's reduce or simplify if possible. All right, 2 goes into 8. Four. Four. Two goes into eighteen. Nine. Nine. Now I gotta ask myself, can I reduce any more or is it at its lowest point? Um, hmm, can I reduce any more? No. That's because nine is a prime. Prime and we can't reduce. So let's just circle our answer. There's our answer right there. Four ninths. We multiplied straight across and then we asked, can we reduce or simplify? Let's take a look at another example and this might help you get it get the get it. All right. Let's do the same thing. We're going to multiply straight across on the numerator and the denominator. Let's do the first one. 3 times 2 is? 6. And let's do the bottom one. 4 times 5 is? 20. 20. Now i got to ask myself again, can I reduce? Can I reduce? No. Yes. And what number goes into both? 2. Yep, I'd agree. 2. 2 goes into 6's. 